Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about oils. So I've been using nothing but oils on my skin for the last, I would say, almost five years. And I've been using all cleansing method during all this time. No cleansers, no moisturizers, nothing like that. And my skin has been getting healthy and happier every single month. Because the original video made about it around three years ago is actually really outdated now and it's not good enough. So I think it's time to make another one talking all about my favorite face cleansing method. So let's get started. So first of all, very, very quickly, let's talk about the benefits of the oil cleansing method and why I think everybody should embrace it, no matter what kind of skin they have. So number one is because oil cleanses oil better than anything. So if you take a water-based cleanser and you try to cleanse oil or any kind of excess sebum or clogs from your skin is not going to work as well as oil because oil is able to really get into those pores and get all the gunk out and remove all the excess sebum that you don't need but not take away the actual necessary sebum which is brilliant reason number two is because our cleansing method removes makeup better than anything else and i used to use all kinds of design expensive um makeup removers and honestly none of them were as good as cleanser method it literally takes a minute and it even removes waterproof makeup reason number three is that oil cleanser method doesn't dry out your skin which is extremely important especially if you have really sensitive and acne prone skin and that's because when you use harsh chemical based cleansers you actually remove that um, acidic mantle that protects your skin and you really dry out your skin and then your skin is forced to produce more and more oil to compensate for that. Reason number four is it doesn't contain any kind of unnecessary chemicals, fragrances, preservatives or any other bad things, which is amazing if you have sensitive skin or if you just care about the health of your skin. Next reason is that it's incredibly cheap. So I bought my huge bottle of sesame oil for maybe 10 euros and I've been using it for more than a year. Okay, not more than a year, but probably around a year and it's still going strong. So it's cheaper than anything. And reason number six, the last reason is that oil cleansing method feels incredibly luxurious and relaxing. So every night when I go to do it in the bathroom, I totally relax, switch off and it's just like a spa experience in your own home. I personally use oil cleansing method every single night now. At the beginning when my skin was really sensitive and broken out, wasn't used to oils and any kind of massaging, I was I had to do it once or twice a week to get myself used to it. But after around a year when my skin really calmed down and became really comfortable, I was able to gradually increase it to every single night and that worked so well for me. So I don't use this whole extensive massaging action every single night but maybe once or twice a week I will massage for a few minutes to really get all of the clogs and all of the excess sebum out but then during the rest of the night I will literally just apply the oil really quickly, remove any makeup, any you know dirt, impurities and rinse it off and that's it. If you're just starting out I would suggest starting from just once or twice a week and during the rest of the nights just use your regular cleansers or whatever you're used to using because in this way, your skin will not freak out. I get so many emails and comments from people who try the oil cleansing method and then their skin completely freaked out and then they dropped it completely. So that's really not something you want to do. Start from once or twice a week. Don't overstimulate your skin. Don't freak it out and it's going to be so much easier for you in the long term. And then after a few months, if you see that your skin is doing well, that it's loving it, then you can start increasing it at another night and then another night until you reach the desired frequency. Another tip I have for you is use just one oil that you like that is safe for you. I would omit castor oil at all and honestly I haven't used castor oil for around three years now and my skin is loving it. Castor oil can be great, but at the same time, a lot of people react badly to it. So that's why I've switched to not recommending castor oil at all and just use one oil. Also, when you use oil, just one oil, you minimize the chances of actually reacting to it badly. So if you are not really liking it, then you will know that it's that oil and you will be able to try a different oil. But if you mix a few different oils, you will have no way to know which of the oils is causing issues. Oils that I would recommend for the beginning, which are really safe for acne prone skin or um, sensitive skin are things like sunflower seed oil, sesame seed oil, which is the one I'm using now, hemp seed oil, argan oil, but that one is a bit expensive. So I don't know if you would want to try it. 
coconut oil is great as well because it makes does wonders for some people but then other people uh, don't get along with it so it's something you can experiment with but just keep in mind that it can clog the pores for some people for the same reason i wouldn't recommend adding any kind of essential oils at the beginning simply because some people are sensitive to them and then you will not know what's actually causing issues the actual carrier oil or essential oil so really just strip everything down to just one oil and after a couple of months if your skin is doing well then you can start experimenting with essential oils or any other oils so now let's move on to the bathroom and demonstrate how to actually use this amazing oil cleansing method so step number one is applying some oil onto dry skin never ever use it on wet skin because it's not going to work so massage it into your skin for a couple of minutes if it's just a quick um quick makeup removal and if it's just a once a week deep cleansing treatment then definitely take your time and you can even massage it for five to ten minutes and you will feel all the clogs literally coming out to your skin if you're wearing eye makeup you can also massage it really gently into your eyelashes and into your eyelids if you have any kind of eyeshadows and that will remove everything super super well then step number two is taking your washcloth and I love using a really dense Egyptian cotton um, muslin cloth which actually doesn't really scrub my skin too much, it's just perfect. Make sure you never use really hot water because it's just going to irritate your face, it's really no good for you. So it has to be comfortably warm, not cold, not hot, just really nicely warm and put it on your skin for a few seconds until it totally cools down and then wipe everything off with really tiny circular motions just like that and don't scrub your skin like crazy it's something totally not necessary really gentle small movements is all you need and you might have to re-wet your um, muslin cloth twice or maybe once more and your face will feel really really clean and if you have any kind of face makeup then definitely gently wipe all the mascara off your eyelashes as well and you'll be amazed how easily it comes off the next step is of course rinsing everything off with cool water and i like using cool water simply because i feel like it closes the pores i know they say pores can't really close or open but it does feel like that because the skin feels so soft and smooth afterwards if your skin still feels dry then don't be afraid to apply some more oil on your skin i personally always apply one pump of rosehip oil with some floral fragrances, which I love at the moment. I keep talking about it all the time, but it's awesome. But you can use any oil that you really like. It can even be the same oil as the one you use for oil cleansing method. But if your skin feels comfortable, if it's already really oily naturally, then you can just skip this step. And that's it, super simple. As you can see, it literally takes me no more than five minutes from start till end and I don't miss any kind of chemical cleanses at all. So I hope that you're going to try this method and if you're already doing this method, please let me know what you think of it. I'll also make a video soon in the future about how to make oil cleansing method work for oily acne prone skin. So if you are one of those people with skin like that, definitely look out for that video in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.